Yes, I am wearing the same shirt as my other video. Hi, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. Today I've decided to sit down and do a kind of chatty video, I guess. I just finished the Sapphic Rapathon, or just finished as in like six days ago, just finished. <laughs> um, and I just kind of want to talk about the things that it brought to mind for me. I don't know. That sounds really weird. But so I did end up only reading or finishing, completing two books during the Sapphic Graph Ra Sapphic Athon. So the Sapphic Readathon. And um one of the books I had started was Not Your Side Big Not Your Sidekick by C. D. Lee. I was really interested to start it because it's about a girl who doesn't have superpowers, even though her family does and it's in a society that does. And it's kind of like a wanted thing. And I first really heard about it here on booktube. I was really interested to start it, give it a shot, um, especially because the main character was said to be queer. Um, I did end up DNFing it. It sounds like so f finite, so definite. Um, I mean, there's that's not to say I might not pick it up again. But I just, as of right now, I'm not going to continue reading it. And it just, it kind of got me thinking because one of the reasons I picked it up in the first place was because of how highly it was talked about on BookTube and all the great reviews about it. And it's just kind of like there's this, there's almost this, I don't want to say pressure because it's not by the BookTube community at all, but it's like this internal pressure to read what everyone else is reading to kind of be a part of those conversations and be so that you're part of the community. And so like, it's just, it's kind of hard cause like, Not Your Psychic is not something I wouldn't normally pick up cause it is YA and I'm not saying anything's wrong with I, YA any whatsoever. Like it's one of the biggest so selling genres in the book industry. But it's just not something that I, like, I am drawn to reading. It's not something I'm usually into. And so, in, I mean, that's not to say that I can't love YA. I mean, I have read other ones. It's just harder because it's not something I'm into. So, like, there's this internal pressure to, like, continue reading it so that I can be a part of those conversations, even though it's not something I'm into. And I had to kind of face this, like, do I only want to be reading things that, other people are reading so I can be part of conversations or start my own conversations with things that I I enjoy reading because I mean there's we can only read so many books and I would rather spend my time reading books that I like than being than just reading what everyone else is reading so that I can say that I read it and like that also continues on because like during the sapphic readathon if you've seen my vlog I did unhaul quite a few books from my physical TBR, so like I have a shelf that looks like this and it's full of books that I've bought because I was really interested in them and haven't gotten around to reading them yet. And I unhauled a lot of those books just because some of them have been on my shelf for years and I just wasn't interested in them anymore. But it, there was another dilemma on that one because one of the books I had bought was Catch-22 and I really wanted to read it because it was like touted as something like you should definitely read it's referenced a lot and so i was like well i'll read it and i just like never picked it up and i never picked it up and it never came to mind when it was something like i could go back like when i was trying to choose for my tbr like it i i just always skipped over it because i wasn't interested in it and it became like it's kind of like a similar part of the dilemma i mentioned earlier or the internal pressure is to read popular books, is to read the books that everyone is talking about so you can be a part of those conversations. And I mean, that's great because like, you should know about those books and I still feel like they are, even if you don't enjoy them, like that is something that, I mean, should be given a shot, but like to be forced to read something just because everyone else liked it or everyone else says that you should read it, I feel like it needs, you, you have to, want to read it for more than those reasons like be interested in the characters and the story instead of just like oh so and so this f person read it or whatever because then you just end up reading you might end up reading a lot of things that you don't like reading and i'm not saying like 
giving a popular book a shot is a bad thing, especially if you're interested in it. But I guess for me, it's just, this is all my feelings, like my opinions. Um, but for me, I just, I need more than it just to be popular, to everyone else to like it, to want to read them. I mean, it definitely makes me interested and I'm like, why is everyone else reading them? But if I read the synopsis and I'm just not interested in it, then I shouldn't force myself to read or try to make myself read it just so that I can be a part of that fandom or that community. Because like they are very, a lot, stories are very personal. They're very connected or I hope they are very connected to the people who read them. Because like I feel very personal about many of the books that are on, that are in my bookshelves. Like these are the ones I've kept and a lot of them I've gone back and reread and a lot of them have deep meanings. Like they've helped me through some really rough times. I've connected with the characters. They help me realize things. They help me grow as a person. And that means so much to me that it's just kind of hard to like myself read something just so that I can be a part of that community. And it's it's just hard because like as a booktube you want to be a part of those conversations as a booktuber. You want to be reading what everyone else is reading and be a part of, I keep saying it, the conversation, the dialogue that's happening about these books. And the only way to do that is to read them. So it's just, I guess it's just hard. It's me complaining. This is a complainy video. It's just hard being new, not being into a lot of the popular genres. Like I'm not a big YA reader. Like, very rarely. I'm really not a big contemporary reader, YA or adult, and that seems to be really popular right now. So it's just, it's frustrating because I feel this internal pressure to read these things so that I can be like the other booktubers. But that's not why I started my channel. I started my channel to talk about the books I like reading because I don't, I didn't necessarily see that they were often talked about. That's not to say that they're not ever because there's some great great booktubers who do talk about them. Problems of a Book Nerd is one, Perpetual Pages is another, Matthew Sharapa, Vigilante Reads, those are just the four I can think of off the top of my head. They all do talk about them but I just, I feel like they need more voices and from someone who is a part of the LGBTQIA community, it's, it's very that as many people as possible can be talking about these. And so it's just, it's this like f war I'm having within myself to like be like the other booktubers. Oh, I sound like I'm back in high school. <laughs> be like the other booktubers and read what is really popular like Cassandra Clare and Rick Riordan and S Sarah J Mass, which are all fairly talked about YA novels in booktube right now and, in, and they're pretty popular. They sell really well. And I don't know much about them, so I have no opinion on them whatsoever. And I'm not saying that they're bad books or good books. I mean, go look at those reviews if that is, those are what you're interested in. But it's just, it's just like there's this pressure and to do those things so that you can be a part of BookTube. And I don't feel like that's necessary. So if you are considering starting your own channel, like I, like, all of us have, or just even doing something else, like becoming a blogger or doing something on Instagram or Twitter. Just do it and talk about the books that you love because that's why we all read. And another person who did a wonderful, way more eloquent video than I just did, because mine was very ranty and confusing, probably, I hope not, this will be fun to edit later, is Ariel Bassett. I will link her video down below. It's wonderful. You really need to check it out. She does a lot of these really interesting videos and she talks about stuff like this and I mean I guess she's someone I look up to on booktube because those are the kind of videos I would like to start doing but anyway so that is my ranty chatty video if you guys have any comments or just want to say hi feel so to do so in the uh comment box and ta-ta for now